Welcome to the show. It is a beautiful Wednesday and let me tell you, we have got amazing energy. I don't know what it is when the sun is out, everyone is just happier. You know, you just feel better and we hope you have had a fantastic day. You have had a fantastic weekend and a um, wonderful beginning of this week. As you know, usually Wednesday the tea is the hottest because we have been collecting for the weekend and the first two days of the week. So make sure you are staying on the hashtag Ebru Let's Talk and talk to us on our WhatsApp number. And um, this is also the show where we have amazing guests and today is absolutely no different. We have got an amazing couple today who are just doing all kind of gap, gap, oh, gap, oh, <laughs> gap, <laughs> gap oh, go. go. So make sure you stay with us throughout the show. If you want to um, if you want to know exactly what's going on here on your favorite channel, Ebru TV, make Make sure you're following us on our um, social media handles that's Ibru TV Kenya everywhere except for Facebook it's Ibru TV KE and myself my name is Lydia KM that's Lydia KM on all social media handles Wednesday 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 today I'm both sad and happy because God freaking Jesus Lydia I that's a story we're gonna talk about Lydia Lydia today no but anyway um Wednesday is the day that we talk about the most awesome things and I feel like a winner every day because this is basically the beginning of my week today <laughs> if you don't have your phone near you, to send us your WhatsApp messages. If you're not on our social media checking us out, I don't even know what you're doing with your life because today is piping and I cannot wait for you to see just how amazing this show is going to be. So just stay tuned, yo. stay tuned. Kasomi Kasomi on all social media platforms. Welcome to the show, you guys. It is Wednesday. Your week has now officially started. Me, I didn't know. I don't know what you did on uh, Monday. I don't know what you did on Tuesday. But because we're now here, the week has officially started. Make sure you guys let us know what you got up to throughout the whole entire week. Because once I get into these hot topics, you guys are going to see just how crazy things have been throughout this whole entire week. And I'm super excited for that. So like everyone has said, make sure you guys go ahead and hit us up on our social media, EBTV Kenya, everywhere except for Facebook, which is EBTV KE. But for now, it's your girl, Ayuma Kaguli, simply Ayuma on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Did you guys have an amazing weekend? Oh, mine was so crazy. Like, mm. Honestly, the Saturday was nothing less than what I expected. And mm. then Sunday was just super chill. The rest of the week I've been home. I've I, been I love that. That's right. the weekend. It's been yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, like I spent the weekend with my mom. Not been the weekend, like uh, most of like the first, um, the weekend until Tuesday with my mm -hmm. mom. So like that was really, really fun and yes. everything. and your mom got is to such hang a out. vibe. My yes. mom is crazy. My mom is so crazy. But like now she got upset because we left without doing TikTok. Oh, oh no. But she <laughs> was the one who was I'm like, upset. we haven't done TikTok. I'm upset. upset. Yeah. 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 I love it. We both got our moms. Yeah. Um, so guys, I guess, I mean, there's no other way to say this, um, but this is my last week week on let's talk ah. this is my last week on let's talk it's a decision which i made the beginning of the month i am completely in love with what i do and i love you guys so much and i love this girl so much it's just time and that literally that's all that's all i can, I, I can just feel uh -huh. i can just i can just feel can the you energy feel? Can, can you feel it can you see it through these i eyes? can see it through you know <laughs> but guys guess what it's my last week not my last day so we're gonna focus on the tea we're gonna focus on our amazing guests and we're gonna have a fantastic show today on hot talk we've got Dan, diana marua who is telling us about the shady past that she has we'll see what that's about we've got maureen Waitito and frankie just jim it and they are dragging each other on social media and it has been ugly from the beginning and it's getting even worse as time goes by and akothe is advising um is set um, is sending some advice to single motherhood it's time for hot talk Right, so we're starting off with Miss Diana Maria. We all know she is currently the baby mama of Bahati. You know, they have two children together. They've built their life on the strong background of Christianity and gospel and talking about, you know, their faith in God. But she came to talk about her shady past and her shady dating history. And it turns out that she reached, there was a point in her life where she was dating men just for money. She was like, she literally had a man, a man for making sure that they would take care of all of her financial needs. If a man didn't have money, she wasn't talking to him. And she even went on to say, I was ready to settle down with a married man. Like, I think like here she really spills all the tea. Like she was literally talking about how like, yeah, she was dating men for money and she's so happy that Bahati found her and was able to kind of like, you know, set her straight because before him, it was a little bit shady and a little bit crazy. When I first saw this story and everything, like part of me was just like, 
Um, like, hmm, you know, a part of me is happy that she's saying this. So like other women out there, you can see that, you know, if you're out there doing crazy things and like, you know, dating men for money and like married men and everything, like there's light at the end of the tunnel, you can settle down, find yourself a man, blah, blah, all of that stuff. But the other part of me was just like, why are we being told this information? <laughs> it, it, it kind of felt like as if like somebody was there saying like you know they're, they're blackmailing her, mm. and it's like I'm gonna go and spill all your dirt about uh, the things that you used mm, to do, yeah. and then now he's like, okay, you know what? Let me tell on myself before other people can tell on me because it just came out of nowhere, you know, like it yeah. literally came out of nowhere. Mm. But it does show how relatable she is because you know she's been running these streets like the rest of you. Yeah, let me tell you, <laughs> I feel like there's nothing more empowering, and I I think there's nothing more relatable to someone than somebody who's willing to be like, you know, I wasn't perfect. Yeah. Or I'm not perfect. I feel like because of social media and this like incessant need to look perfect and everything to be like, look at us, just look at us, you know? Anytime somebody shares something which I know is like maybe gonna cause some kind of controversy or maybe it's like a little bit frowned upon, yeah. I'm here for it because guess what? If you don't know dark things about someone, it's just because you don't know them, you know, not because they're actually not there. So I'm here for it. If you are in the ghetto and now you are <laughs> redeemed and you are a better person, I want to hear all the ghetto stories i yeah. love it yeah. i just love how bold she is about coming out with this information but this is something that i need to probably mention it's it's amazing how the internet makes you such a such a tough-skinned person after going through all the stuff that the internet throws at you mm. diana has gone through everything she's been criticized about literally everything including her height her age everything so i feel like she's become so bold because of all these um allegations accusations drama that has riddled her and to the point where now she's just okay with like be becoming the most honest version of herself and that is amazing not only because one she's educating you on all the things that you can do or if you're doing those things she's reeling you back in and telling you look you don't have to go this way 100 percent of the way you can always just bring yourself back and be level-headed and just like do something important with your life settle down think about I love the fact that she actually mentioned that she was thinking about it when she was about to settle down with this married man. She was thinking about it. She's like, if I was the other woman or if I was the married woman and then there's another woman on the side, how would I feel myself? So that karma, the fact that karma was in her mind and she was willing to take a step back and reform her ways, that is everything for me. So yeah. all of you out there, if you're trying to do shady things, Think about it. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Karma. Karma. Hey, And you friend. know, forget karma. Empathy. Empathy, that's just it, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't want to hurt Ayuma because she's a person. I just empathize because I'm a human, you yeah. know? Like, anytime you put your somebody, you, anytime you, you think about somebody else getting hurt, you don't even have to be think being their own shoes. Just empathy. We shouldn't want to be hurting each other. And I feel like that's one thing we lack as women. Yeah, true. We don't yeah, ever empathize with each other, right? We will mm. be empathetic to our deadbeat boyfriend, mm. you right? know? And, and like our, our husband each other and friends. Friends. Yes, friends. friends. But give like, everyone. Like, strangers, yeah, we women. don't care. 100 percent guys i mean this is a com as you said it's completely left field like did we need to know this information are you happy to know this information let us know on the hashtag ebrew let's talk and talk to us on whatsapp guys guys mm -hmm. please please we are begging you we have got four days worth of teas we want to hear what you think guys and we love when you send us compliments and things like that but we especially love it when you give us your own input on what you think on some of the things we are discussing so mm -hmm. talk to us mm -hmm. now god above <laughs> speaking of the the actual ghetto oh, Maureen Waititu and Frankie just Jimmy like things are going from bad this was to bad worse. to this is like downright ugly so last week we told you guys that Frankie put up this long post on one of his son's birthday saying that you know I'm sending you this here because I don't have any access to you so then later on Maureen came out and said um, um as she said um, since the 10th of August, the father of my kids refused to support our kids. Mm -hmm. He threw us out um, of the home we were living in, even after trying to get him to sit down with the lawyer, et cetera, et cetera. She said, like, may this, um, I have always respected Frankie, but I am no longer going to protect someone who keeps exposing me to people who don't even know half the truth. This is wrong and it needs to end once and for all. First of all, note that she didn't deny that she's, she's not giving him access. She never denied that, right? Now, this did not end here. There's been, um, during the weekend, there's been a slew <laughs> of screenshots, right? So Frankie is putting up screenshots of how, um, Fra um, of basically Frankie saying that, no. Maureen. 
Maureen mm -hmm. is putting up, no, Frankie is putting up screenshots of Maureen saying that, you know, Maureen has been threatening. I mean, the amount of time Maureen called, used the word, am I allowed to say on TV? I'm not mm -hmm. sure. H-O-E. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Referring to Corazon. I mean, it's like the it's the scorned woman narrative that's been posted right yeah. um then obviously this has been dragged and you know that the, the teenness himself has come out and there seems to be wrong on both people's ends right so it seems like you know um it seems like M maureen has done her own part and frankie himself clearly hasn't been paying for the last two months right so it's one of those tit for tax situations. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing is that it's on social media. Corazon also had her own part in it, telling Maureen, um, like, you know, you don't need to be abusing me because um, I moved on with your ex. She says that she had to move houses because Maureen was trying to come and attack her. I mean, it's World War Three between three people. And it's horrible because I feel like these are the kind of things which traumatize children when they find out about their parents. Yeah. yeah. You know, people for, don't, don't realize the internet never forgets. Ever. Mm -hmm. Never forgets. Like 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line we're all gonna see these videos and everything they've both uh, posted on their YouTube channels talking about each other and everything and here's the thing they're both wrong mm -hmm. they were both a hundred percent wrong when this story first came out last week I was all team Frankie because I was like oh my gosh Maureen how are you gonna keep your man uh, I'm your the father of your children away from um, his children and everything and then turns out he actually didn't pay for the last two months like, so they're both wrong in the situation but why are we sh all looking at it yeah. it seems as if they're happy to say it like mm -hmm. you know they're mm -hmm. both if you think about it, they're both content creators, but let's say influencers and everything. And it seems as if they're using the drama of their relationship to make money off of it. And that's what I don't like. I don't like yeah. the fact that like where they're posting on YouTube, where they're doing interviews, like you know, she's they're gonna be on Jalango's um, YouTube show and everything. It's now become like a whole show, and it's like for what? At the end of the day, like how is it gonna be beneficial to the children? Mm -hmm. I know it's. Mm -hmm. I think for me, it's it's the emotional toll that it's taken on both people. First of all, I remember last week when I was mentioning, I was. Was mentioning that the fact that maybe Frankie just doesn't have the money to support his family and you laughed at that yeah but seems it's part of the story that has garnered all this drama and has brought so much hate and scorn because first of all um, you're not taking care of your children who are initially your responsibility just because you have someone new doesn't mean you move on and you forget about us and I get that it can be very it can be very financially um, straining mm -hmm. for you to be able to take care of two households it was punishment though well, that's the thing. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense for you to take out the one thing that the life support of your children, not technically, maybe he's not taking care of 100% of the bills or anything. But that is something that I'd budgeted for at the beginning of the month, I know I'm getting 100%, I'm getting 50,000 from here, I'm getting 20,000 from here to be able to manage myself and my children. And then suddenly you're stopping that life. And then after that, you still kick me out. I mean, and even with her being so vile when it comes to Corazon, <laughs> it's just what is going on? You guys just you just need to calm down, Vile. go to court, and sort this out. Because clearly, you're, they're not going to be. Un, there's not going to be an amicable ending with this if they're dealing it outside of the court. But yeah. here, so yeah. take it to court, figure it out, move on, and stop giving us all this juice. Because yeah. girl, and we move on about is like the week. real word. And I think honestly, this right. like yes, they're both on the wrong. But honestly, Maureen, right. Maureen, right. Yeah. if you would just move on and stop calling Corazon a loose woman in much worse terms and everything. I don't think this would be the situation that they have right now. Yeah. She's just still upset that he's moved on with someone else who is that type of woman. Mm -hmm. And because of that, mm -hmm. she'll do something. He does tit for tat, tit for that. But if she would move on, I think their relationship, like, they would be able to co-parents well. Let me tell you this. Yeah, it's really difficult when you're scorned uh -huh. to be in a position where yeah. you're happy for the person you're who's neutral. moved on, right? Mm -hmm. However, however, like, I know the grace, like, it, it, it had to take because I've been in a situation where I'm literally nursing a... a, a, a break up my heart is broken and the person is moved on showing us the yeah. love and da -da -da -da, oh, the, I know exactly how that feels but let me tell you this here rising above it like first of all texting things that are like you're insulting Frankie's new woman how is how how are you going to be able to have a positive relationship when that's the case you know I don't think that child support should be like negotiable based mm -hmm. on A, B, and C, or whether um, it should be negotiable for him to see his kids. You know, it should, like something should be said that you have to pay child support and you need, to, you have to see your kids. Mm -hmm. Then this, the rest of this drama, you guys can, to Siana if you want to, because I feel like you guys are going to move on when you want to as, um, as human beings. But this, this, these kids, these kids, like, like I, I come from a, um, a situation where my parents, it was attack and war. 
when um, they separated, yeah, right? I yeah. know exactly how that feels. And I am still healing from the trauma <laughs> of that situation. And uh -huh. it's no joke. I just happen to be conscious enough to know that there was a wound and I'm trying to heal it. Not everyone's going to be so lucky. Yeah. Let's stop playing jokes when kids are involved. Like, mm -hmm. this is, it's horrible. It's, <sighs> honestly, it's horrifying. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Now, I've been on the other side. And I'm just going to say this as shortly and quickly as possible. I've been on the other side where it's like the father who didn't care much about what was going on. Mm -hmm. So now my mom is, is being nice and meek and lowly. She's like, no, but they're your children. And this dragged on for years and years and years. And I'm still recovering from that trauma. Yeah. So here's the situation. Figure out. Figure this out on, in court and just get it over and done with. But the meme that was going round about two lawyers fighting for a gym instructor, that straight up Stupid. killed me. I died. I'm just, oh, Stupid, Kenyans, I love you for being so violent. Yeah. It just, you're crazy. Anyway, uh, speaking about people giving advice, as much as we're giving advice, Akode also came out to speak about this particular story. And she's been a single mom. We all know Akode has been a single mom to many children. She's had her struggles with trying to get her men to pay child support, the whole nine yards. But she came out very clearly about this particular story, and she put up a post saying, <clears throat> As a mother, the only moment you will have a peace of mind is when you're dead and gone. However, if the spirits are alive, you will never have peace. Uh, you'll have, never have any peace if your children are not settled or at peace. It doesn't matter if she's married, old, young, or if they are married, old, or young, the pain is the same. I hereby ask you and urge single mothers to hold um, on to the happiness of their babies bring forth and you are to you're, you're totally alone in the journey of pregnancy and it's a bonus or a privilege if you have a supportive spouse but which in most cases it's not guaranteed. Uh, time immemorial we've seen that most past experiences tend to become blurry. So I think Akode for the first time I agree with her and I'm, I'm very very happy about the fact that she's bringing the actual problems to light. The problem is as a person before you decide to go through this journey of having children with anyone. You need to know that me, myself, and I, as Kathomi, I am ready and willing to go with these children through the ghettoest ghetto mm -hmm. and through the shiniest walks and the golden alleys that there are in this world. Because guess what? You're the mom. It's usually placed, and sadly, this is an African thing, and not just an African thing, it's actually worldwide. Most mothers tend to go in hoping and praying that they're going to raise this child, but you've not taken into account the fact that, you know, things might go south way. The man might die. Anything could happen in between the process of you having children and the end of your life. So you need to have a conscious decision that these are children that I am going to raise regardless of what happens. And oftentimes we hold men accountable when, yeah, society has given us a different directive. Yeah. So I think honestly, Akode, thank you for bringing that up. And people, take note, Akode is preaching. Yeah, honestly, like, I mean, I feel like right now, like that's that's where we are at. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to teach men to be accountable and to be responsible and to be um, fifty percent of the situation which I do. Yes, that's yeah. that's literally what we are pushing. However, do not suffer because you're hoping that your situation is going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like always be in a situation, even my mom used to say, she had two kids, the ones who she could take care of, forget divorce, mm -hmm. death happens. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my uncles um, passed away when we were really young and um, my cousin's mom had to take care of them and there were three of them. Like, so it's not necessarily just like, you know, oh, he's gonna be a deadbeat or he's going to be a horrible dad or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes death comes as well. Mm -hmm. And it should be both cases. When you have children, you should kind of have that mind, like I can take care of them. The only thing is like, I always say this, like, I don't hear anything positive from Akode. Yeah. It's like, it's the, the positivity is just so few and far in between <laughs> that I just, uh, every time she opens her mouth, I'm just like, God, yeah. here we go, something <laughs> negative. <laughs> but here she was speaking facts. Like, yeah, I was, know, it I was agree. negative, yeah. but it's the truth, you yeah. know? And like, you have to go into a situation knowing that you have to be ready to take care of your For child sure. as the mother. Yes, it's sad, your, your partner should be able to do that, mm. but as a mother, you have to be willing to do anything and everything to take care of your child and not only take care of their child but also take care of their mental space and mm. she was giving this um what's called advice to maureen so mm -hmm. even though y'all are there busy arguing that's still not helping their children it's true true true, true. Mm. and um the fact that we are giving you advice today doesn't mean it ends mm. it's about that segment of the show where we you ask the girls for advice and we give you the best knowledge the best fathomable knowledge that we can so right about now it's time for ask the girls so it's time for Ask the Girls, and today's one is also very interesting, and it's in line with all this baby mama drama. So, um, hey girls, 
uh, we look at, you girls look amazing. I need advice on something because it seems I'm not getting it. So my boyfriend asked for space two weeks ago and it's killing me inside. We have been dating for five months now. And the reason, because, the reason <laughs> is because my mom asked me what we are. The mom asked him. The mom asked him what we are. Are we friends? Is there something else going on? I felt pressured by my mom and he felt pressured too. For me, I felt bad because it was just a very new relationship. Help me out. Five months is a new relationship. At five months, you guys don't know what you're doing. What's going then, on? Then, what, then your, your mom was asking a very good question. I'm glad your mom was asking what is it that we're doing. As, as in, honestly, after month three, you need to find out what it is that you're doing. So it's not her exactly. boyfriend. Exactly. No, it was, it, it was, it's not her boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've taken a break for, like, you guys were just yeah. friends. You guys yeah. were just hanging out. Because at five months, you, your mom asking him, what are you guys doing? And he's now scared. Mm. Girl, that wasn't your boyfriend. You thought he was your boyfriend, but he's not your boyfriend, unfortunately, which is really, really sad. And you should be happy that your mom went ahead and did that. Yeah. I know you feel that it's, you felt pressured by your mom and that it's a new relationship. Yes, it's a new relationship, but by month five, you should know whether he's your boyfriend or not. And he's answered the question. For mm. sure. And uh, your mom didn't say, when are you marrying her? You know, there could be something your mom says, yeah, but even in that situation, somebody who's there for you in that relationship will pull you aside and be like, hey, you know, what your mom said kind of freaked me out. Mm. I mean, you can communicate because it's not you who said it. And you know, who's, who is responsible for what their parent says? You know, like our our parents have like a different view of how life should look like so there's no way somebody should give should ask for space from me when it was my mom who asked something you know what mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. so this is not the guy for you he was clearly never your boyfriend in the first place Han, and you have dodged a bullet and this space is asked for first of all 2020 20 people asking for space mm -hmm. is buy. Mm -hmm. have your space and also I will, I will give you an extra <laughs> goodbye <laughs> done um, I think I love the fact that the mom came up with this. This is the first time that I'm happy that a parent has intervened mm -hmm. in a relationship. Because darling, what are you doing? Surely. It doesn't matter how long the relationship has gone on, but your mom has a responsibility as a caregiver to you to know that you are taken care of, to know that you're very well placed mentally. And if you're feeling this bad about it in five months or at five months, imagine how it would feel a year down the line two years down the line, you still don't know what you're doing with Girl. this guy. You still don't know what's Girl. going on with this guy. And clearly, he's not going to, he clearly does not want anything more than what you have now. So you are never going to get anything more from him. So I feel like, yes, thank you, mom, for asking that question for her. She did not, maybe the mom had been listening to her stories. You know, though right. we, we call yeah, our mom, yeah. like, oh my God, mom, this, that, the other. Yeah. And then the mom is just like, okay, no, I need to find out for her, yeah. at least for her sanity. Mm -hmm. Coming from him, it will be very different. And this boy, Aki, me, men, generally, you need to start telling us, determine the relationship at the very, define it. What are we doing? So that I don't have all these questions, I'm unsure. If we're playing about, let's play about. But play about when Mimi Najua. Mimi Najua tunafanya ni. No, no, it's not men. It's no. us. Women. Yeah. <laughs> you ask the question. If you don't get the answer that you want, mm -hmm. you decide whether or not you want to be a clown or whether you want to move on and actually be with someone. It's mm -hmm. not someone's responsibility because guess what? Mm -hmm. It benefits the guy when you're in the gray area, honey. Oh, yeah. Looking and wanting. Because guess what? You're giving him wife duty, True. girlfriend duties, but ain't no title. So it's on you, girls. But anyway, you can let us know what you think. Let us know how we would advise her because guess what? We just, you know, we have our own personal views. Mm -hmm. What do you think she should do, guys? The hashtag is eBrew. Let's talk. We can see your feedback. Thank you so much, guys. Um, we see this is um, Fiona from Raqqa. We see you. Um, Melvin from Donholm. Why so soon? I have been here for two and a half years, my <laughs> friend. Um, hey, ladies. Linda from Camarok. Oh, Lydia. Okay, on how about... Okay, sorry. I already miss you, yet you've not left. <laughs> on Frankie's story, I think they should just settle it in court because this situation is really hurting the kids for sure anna from the Goto, we see you saying and the diana story i'm here like if i date bahati diana is not supposed to create drama <laughs> i'm not in support of whatever she did <laughs> elegant is a word to describe your um that is usain gishu from eldoret um representing the 026 county mm -hmm. who knows which one that is girl she, that's where he's from said, yeah, yeah, was in gishu was in gishu um. county <laughs> His name is Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Grace from Nairobi, we see you. We appreciate you. <laughs> we also have over here uh, one boy from Wehoko saying, uh, for sure, for sure, Kathomi, you're looking great, loving the hair. Thank and you. then she's saying, Ati, on this story for Maureen, yeah? Uh -huh. She was like, um, I'm a, Ati, 
Let's see, uh, Maureen hasn't moved on at all. She is still holding on to Frankie as if she has not dealt with her emotions 100%. Mm -hmm. Also, she's in pain because she sees how Frankie is treating Corazon. And by the way, they both have phones. It should be between them and maybe a court. Juwa Toto wa Naomiya Bure Ju Yawatu Wawili. Surely involving the netizens on another is on another level. I agree with you, girl. Oh, my goodness. We see someone saying they love us all the way in Kenya and they haven't specified they just love us and we look good. Uh, we've got Kylie from Nakuru and Asema. You guys look amazing, um, especially Katomi. Thank you. And on Diana's story, she's opening up about her personal life and she shouldn't overshare. I think she was just caught in the moment in that particular case. Hey girls, this is Bambi watching from Pangani. Anasema, on the issue of Kina, Kina Frankie, I think Maureen is just jealous of Corazon's relationship. Yeah. <laughs> okay, True. guys. Um, I mean, they've Facts. never been on, on, on perfect terms, they have but been. it definitely got ugly when Corazon and Frankie, like even just the rumor started. Yeah. Like I didn't even know they had beef mm -hmm. until then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, anyway, guys, continue talking to us. We love and appreciate hearing every single thing um, that you're thinking, whether it's good or bad, whether we agree with it or not. We're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we have got couple goals extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. If you missed that hot talk, we are sorry. We're very sorry, but make sure you catch up on our YouTube channel. That is Ibru TV, Ibru TV Kenya. Um, now, we're going to read some of your feedback first before I introduce this couple I've been going on about. Um, we see you, Bambi, watching the show from Pangani. On the issue of Kina Frankie, I think Maureen is just jealous of Carl. Mm, sorry. That's been read. Um, so we also have Grace from Embakasi North. Uh, this is Lillian from Roy Sambo, who is saying, my take on Frankie's and Maureen's issue, they both thought they were right, and I think they just needed to be heard. And we are not and we're not able to communicate with each other, but now they both understand how each other was thinking or was expecting from the other person. I do agree with that. Like people lash out when they feel like they're not being heard. Um, so I get that there was a lot more girl. Um, Robin from Olenguruone. Love it. Um, the drama <laughs> is really traumatizing indeed. They deserve meditation. Akote advice is true. Mm. Yeah, got someone else saying, Lydia, Lydia. Um, anyways, we'll miss you. It's okay. This is Felicia from Madare. We've got someone else saying, uh, this is, uh, where? Ha. Keshi from Westlands. And that's a look nice. Thank you. Uh, we've got someone else saying, Maureen saying, uh, Maureen should move on. And some of us, um, sorry. Maureen should move on. Some of us have been brought up in single parents and our achievements attract our dads back into the family and they come shamelessly and, <laughs> and then they start saying the blood is thicker than the water. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> Anita saying looking amazing and goodbye to Lydia. And then we've got um, Sha all the way from LD and I'm enjoying the show. And then Faustine from Kangemi and I said, you girls are looking amazing. Lydia KM, I will miss you so much. You are my mentor. I am here. I am going nowhere, guys. It's just the end here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, guys, we are going to introduce an incredible couple now. There's nothing better about this generation than the fact that you can take your phone and make absolute magic. And these two have been making absolute magic on YouTube to the count of 80,000 subscribers. Yes, 80,000 subscribers. Welcome to the show, the Amour family. Yeah. <laughs> I know some of you guys are going to read that Amore. Amore. <laughs> amore. It's not Amore, it's Amour. Okay? Um, guys, introduce yourself, I guess, individually and tell us a little bit more about the Amour family. Yeah. So, my name is uh, Mark. I'm, I'm Amour. Basically, I'm Amour. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I'm in multimedia university doing Bachelor of Procurement and Logistics Management. Mm -hmm. Love it. And you? I'm um, Winnie Keranta. I stay in Rungai. I'm a student. I'm 19 years old. And um, I'm studying theater arts and film production. Oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. Love I love it. the fact that you're both doing things that are in line with what you do, like yeah. film and procurement. This is things that will help you with like growing your fellowship or your following. Mm -hmm. Because now, I mean, 80,000. Woo! And you just started your, your account, your Instagram account together, and you're at 8K already. How does that feel? To just it's quickly... Um, yeah, I've seen on Instagram your couple, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, your couple yeah, yeah. Uh, page has 8, 000, about 8,036 followers. How does it feel to grow so quickly, even when it's, you know, you have individual accounts which you've been growing and amassing people on them, but now you're just, doop, 8K. Hiya, next. <laughs> How does it feel? First of all, um, at a Instagram, as in I'm not a social media 
person. Wow. I wasn't on Instagram, but when I met him, he's actually the one who told me to open an account. So he hyped up the account, and now I'm at 50,000. So the other account, it was just um, a backup account for stalking people. Then, <laughs> then we changed the username, and then we, we hyped it to come to to follow. Now, because the people already know us, so to Nike the YouTube, follow our page. We're going to be posting um, maybe our pictures together and stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. You know, like, you guys are both, like, really, really young. Yeah, you're 19, you're 20 years old, and already have a couple page, already have, like, you know, a channel on YouTube as a couple, already living together. Do you, do you feel as if, like, that's a lot since you guys are so young? We don't feel like it's a lot, but people make us feel like it's a yeah. lot. Because sometimes the pressure, even from family members, not all our family members support us, and it's very discouraging because sometimes it's just so bad. But, yeah. <laughs> just push on. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, despite the family like telling you, you guys are yeah, too, young. too young to live together. You should be reading, you should be in school. Yeah. But we, we, we push forward. We, we do because our own thing, yeah, and you see. Yeah. Before we started YouTube, uh, we were, when I met her, I was I was I was already big on Instagram, already oh. big on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I was watching like this YouTube couples uh, in the states. Yeah. And then I was relating in Kenya, Nangalia Kenya, and then the Akuna. Mm -hmm. There there are no young couples on YouTube, the, unless those the the big ones, mm -hmm. Kinawa Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we started. So I told her we should start a, a channel, but but at that time we did not have a good phone. So we were like, when we get a phone, we were just to look at to to fantasize on what we plan. Yeah. yeah. So I'm telling her, when, when we get a good phone, we think, yeah, YouTube, we'll be doing these pranks because we can't have pranks. Mm -hmm. And then we did like our first video. We were like at 50 subscribers, my friends. Mm -hmm. We did our first video. It went well. And then there was this video which, which blew us up. And then after that, just continue. Yeah. yeah, I love it. First of all, I love the vision for you to be able to see something abroad and then to think that there's a space there for you to do it. Like, I'm here for young people, by the way, doing big things. Mm -hmm. This, Ati, like, you know, you're too young to do anything. Azia is making bank. She's how old? Like, she yeah, just 20, turned like one, you know? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. But um, I feel like the older generation are always going to be the ones who are skeptical because they don't want you to fall in a big hole. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, they're always looking out like, you know, the worst case scenario situation, right? Yeah. Um, first of all, how long have you guys been together? And what is it that you, you are attracted to each other about? <laughs> okay, we've been together for three years. The first time I saw him, actually, when I was in high school, mm -hmm. that's when he mm -hmm. Because, you know, when you're in high school, in Kenda midterm, all you do is Instagram, nini nini. Some kirudish will say, oh, kuna uyu, na uyu, he's from Rungai, so just socialite. So, ni kamjua. Ni Kenda, ni stalk. Then, <laughs> I love the way you're so, <laughs> so confident about your stalking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah ni stalk, ni kamjua. And cause ni warunga, I miss J Moana na neshi runga. I want to know this daddy. Mm -hmm. So to kapata na um, kwa our friends memorial, then th that's when I saw him. Ni kama approach. Ni kama she was the one who approached. Yes. Yes. I went and told him, um, let's take a photo. Then ni kaienda ni kwenye my friends. Washule, mm -hmm. upon this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So from then, dot kanza kongea. Yeah. yeah. And you? Me. So what is it about her, her story, that attracted yeah. to you? Her story. Mm. So me was from school. I was I was uh, going to this memorial of a friend. So as in I'm antisocial, I don't even walk around. I always stay in the house. So my friend uh, came and told me, Ati, there's this girl, Ati kunude, like, alikuwa nakulizia, anakujua, nini, nini. And then when I looked at her, and then I'm like, hey, Z, she's out of my... I don't know, your time, Ali Kwanga, I don't know, I, I, I was... I was yeah, yeah. out of my league. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, I'm not So when she came and, this, uh, and, and, <laughs> and approached me, mm -hmm. she was like, hey, man, this, we take a picture for the Instagram, for what? And then I was like, okay. 
and then by the way, before we took a picture, she was taking pictures of me. I was taking pictures of him. Yeah, I was taking pictures of him to show my friends, and yeah. he didn't even know. Oh, yeah. Like a kombele, yeah. mini konyuma, I'm just taking pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she texted me at night, and then she was like, Nati, hi, I'm the girl who we took a picture. This is the picture. She sent the picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you know me, I was not as in siku mm -hmm. but she was insisting we talk, mm -hmm. we meet. Yeah. Even before we became a thing. Mm -hmm. She was I was blocking him for like a was week. I was, I, <laughs> because I, I, I was posting other girls. Oh. Now yeah. she was feeling jealous <laughs> and uh, she was feeling entitled. <laughs> now we were not even dating. Oh. So she was blocking me and blocking me. Yeah. But you bought it. You bought it. I love it. You went going for it. Yeah. So I've seen a couple of your YouTube videos. You've done so many videos, including the prank where you pranked him that you were pregnant, and there was the other one where you were trying to seduce him or something. It was really yeah. cute. They all are really cute on on YouTube. So here's my question: What's the limit? Like, how far is too far for you guys when it comes to all these pranks? Because pranks can they can make you feel a type of way if you're not yeah. being too keen. Yeah. So what is the limit? Ni wapi pwenye uzi fika? You're just like, ay, apana, ini too much for you guys. Okay, first, <laughs> there's this, uh, there's, a, there's a video we did about, it was a no hands <laughs> kissing challenge. Uh -huh. Yeah, we did that video. And most of our family members were not comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they wakasema, this is too much now, you need to stop YouTube, nini nini. So like, from from 10, mm -hmm. we didn't delete the video, but mm -hmm. from 10, mm -hmm. tukona, as in, as much as tunafanya videos about maybe sex or anything like that, to sequel that erotic kwa our videos. Ah, yeah, yes. but we talk about, we talk about such things. Okay. And yeah. I like the way that you guys are actually open about it because it's not as if like people in your generation aren't doing it or, sure. you know, having those conversations, but like it's just something that's like seen as a taboo. Mm -hmm. Like, do you guys, how do you guys feel about now being like um, goals, couple goals for people? Do you feel that pressure now? Because like you're still really young, things happen in relationships. Some days he pisses you off or she, she, he, she might make you upset. Do you still like now show that on social media? Um, uh, like, what do you guys do? We normally, we normally don't show that on social media. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like people always think that you're, you're, you're the perfect couple. You never argue, never. We, we always argue sometimes, <laughs> but we always sit down and then, and then we're like, but the YouTube has, uh, as in to say, dear sana kuto achana, you see. Mm -hmm. So kuna sa, like, tumepisiana kabisa, we're like, no, it's over. And then we're like, eh, hey, such kiachana, see, we'll be the laughing stop. <laughs> and, then, and then we sit down and then we talk it out. Yeah. It was us. No, I love that. Um, people are going to think you're perfect because you're not showing the the argument yeah. part, you know. Yeah. So yeah. do you what? Do you feel like it's okay? Let them think we are perfect, or you're gonna start showing these arguing ones, mm -hmm. or like the genuinely discussing issues you have? Like, like as in, I I came to realize, like not not everyone is on your side, you know, no? mm. When you start uh, showing people your bad side, mm -hmm. they'll never forget. Mm -hmm. The internet never forgets. Mm. You yeah. see. So when you always show them the bad side, at when we when we fight, I go delete our pictures, I untag her, and then my stories are some type of way people never forget that. You know, mm -hmm. and Adam yeah. people will always be like, ah, she's a clown, he's a clown. Yeah. Yeah. So we, as in, we keep our things privately. Yeah, and that is, I I feel like some people some yeah, of us social yeah. 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 I was saying <laughs> sometimes people will try to bring you down mm -hmm. because there's this comment and I'll never forget. Um, someone said that we should unsubscribe for this, from this channel because we are here uh, to na idea, as in to na encourage you to fornicate. Oh. And I was like, we didn't even tell you guys we, we, we do that. Mm -hmm. And it's things that happen, yeah. you see, and people don't talk about it. So I just I just felt bad because <laughs> my mom said that the people who want to keep things in the dark are always going to resent those who are okay with them in the light. Mm -hmm. So that's just all that person is doing. I, yeah. I love the fact that again, as you said, you guys are always trying to keep your information to yourself. That murky stuff you don't want to get it yeah. out of out in the open. But here's my question: You do a lot of pranks. Like I've seen your pranks. They're a lot and they're crazy. Uh, are there points where you're not sure whether it's an actual prank? And you're just like, okay, hey, wait, is this a prank or is this like real life? What, how do you, how can you tell those apart sometimes? Like, as in, when you, when you, when you, when you do that stuff for long, for, like, to me, for since, 
we started our channel on January. Mm -hmm. So our channel is like seven months old. So when you when you do that, okifanyezo vitu sana, you get used to nana. But there's sometimes and then you're like, hey, this is too much for a prank. Ata kuna videos zenye zili bako. Like they don't know. Because na yeah. Like and we, 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 prank we, we finish our mm. prank, mm -hmm. but after we finish it, like sasa ina kuwa argument. But you know you can't record that argument. <laughs> yeah. And we can't so also you know, put after, it after there. After prank, lazimu useme beb ni prank and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the, as in, I would take you to you're yeah. like, no, you see prank, yeah. una ndangana. Yeah. 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 But you don't show that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's real, so the pranks are real. Yeah. yeah. At least, I, I didn't at think least. that. Yeah, because like, you know, a lot of, scripted, yeah, because yeah. a lot of the YouTube couples, you can tell sometimes that, okay, I know you see that camera sitting over there, how mm -hmm. you pretend you Like, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so like now when you get, you guys are now become a brand, you know, yes, you're dating and everything, but now you're a brand. Um, how do you see yourself now working with like other brands and everything and now having your relationship like a company? Mm -hmm. <laughs> First of all, I've not thought about that because right now I have like so much pressure School, there's school, I have to go back to school, and uh, your parents ex expect the best from you. They want you to pass. They, it's not like all of them will support what you do. So, yeah. <laughs> but for the brand stuff, mm. like we, we always search for, because YouTube, sana sana ndo ina, ina to provide idea, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like YouTube, kwanza Kenya, CPM ya YouTube, uh, CPM ya Kenya, YouTube is low, you see? Yeah. You can get like 100,000 views, and then you get like 5Gs, 6Gs, mm -hmm. copyright and stuff, mm -hmm. nana. So, as we always like approach people, and then you're like, we, we, you endorse for us and stuff, but ni hard sana, mm -hmm. ni hard sana, because unajua una ile, ile jina, Agenda viral, Julikani Bado. So it's hard sometimes to ku, ku grow brand mm -hmm. and you don't know certain type of you don't know certain people. Mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah. So it's very hard for us. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, days away, days yeah. away. Just like I'm sure stay persistent, I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, what's the vision for you guys? Like if you were asked who would you who let's say in Kenya, who would you like to emulate and why? Bar the success and money. As in as a couple or, yeah, or yeah. As a couple, mm -hmm. like Kenya, Kenya, see, we have like only like two, two popular couples, who like the Bahati and the or Jesus. That's it, done. And yeah. the Jugu, and the Jugu. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. but people, as you know, when you drama, you know, Bahati and or Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be like that. I, I hate like too much drama. Yeah. So you're setting your own couple yeah. goal, as yeah. in you're literally yeah. setting a bar for yourself yeah. and for others. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So young people who are now in relationships, younger than you, want but on videos in you and they just want to be part, they just want to be a couple as well. What do you what do you have as advice for them? Like how can you tell them the problems and you and you and you and you like yo, you need to calm down first of all, figure your stuff out and then how would you advise someone who's trying to start a YouTube couple with a uh, YouTube couple Channel. Page yeah. or channel. Before you start, as in me, what I can say, before you start a channel, you must be ready for the for the hate, for the haters, for for the challenges, for every. You must be ready for everything, mm -hmm. And then to make it worse, like unona, when you put your things out there, like you cannot do anything in in, in secret, mm -hmm. Like you cannot, you cannot. You cannot start flirting with other people. You cannot do it because <laughs> oh, it how can I flirt with other people? <laughs> because <laughs> when it blows up, say what what they rush out of proportion. And mm -hmm. no, no, you must be ready to. Okay, okay, ready to stick to that to that one person. Adi aki kubo, adi adi when you're not in good terms, no, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so you just you just must be ready. Yeah. First of all, I get a lot of of DMs from young girls mm -hmm. telling me I'm 14 but I want to be like and it's she wants to have a YouTube channel she thinks that as in yeah no too ni fun yeah dream to see up so first of all una fo kwe wrong because people will hate people on ngo jatu if you don't follow yako and everybody even those people who 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 subscribe those people who tell you keep going even those people will wataku what are queen Gilia? Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. So, on a folk wrong woman, 
you shouldn't give up if that's what you love doing continue doing it yeah yeah oh. wow i have heard the most advice that i can get from very young people and it's shocking but for now let's let's make it a little interesting we are about to play a game that is going to be head to actual head so right now it's game time the game we are about to play is called head to head the game is simple there are, the problem is we have one person who's not going to have a partner, which means one of us is going to have to uh, alternate a partner. Okay. So I think uh, Yuma and I can go, Lydia and, Lydia and uh, Mark can go, and then um, uh, Kerita and I can go, right? Mm -hmm. So the game is simple. I'm kind of Okay. Okay. Uh, Yuma and I are going to hold this cup with our foreheads up until that table. Uh -huh. And we have 30 seconds to have the most cups Gone to that side in 30 seconds. All right. So, all right. So? All right. Let's like even just remove yeah, them. Yeah, let's just put, put them all on the table so it's easy. I don't think we're going to do that many, but. You don't have faith I, in I, us? I, lo I, love the, I love the faith, but yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go. No, it's uh, this way. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, so. Okay. Is the do timer? we start? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, how is that? They didn't put it down with their head. Ah, dude, okay. They have to put it down with their head. That's yes. impossible. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, who's my team president? <laughs> <laughs> we are about to fall. Why are you guys acting like rhinos? Are you my one more? I'm not with them. I'm not with them. <laughs> oh, okay. Done. I so. think like half of my face is on those cups. <laughs> we did five. Uh -huh. uh, so who's next? You guys. The couple. I guess I'm sitting out. You don't want to do it, Mark? Give it a little. Okay, we no, can do it. The couple. They do it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> couple. Let's see. Couple goals. <sighs> so oh, there's a timer. Yeah, there's a timer. There's a timer. I'll count you she'll, down. She'll count you down. Mneza tuanisha mkitaka. But win. I have faith in you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right, you guys ready? Uh, yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Uh. <laughs> I feel some of you guys are really very close. Yeah, go further down. Further down to the table. <laughs> yes. Yeah, further down. Go oh, to you did so, so well. I know. Yeah. Coordinated. <laughs> what? Unlike other rhinos we know, <laughs> Miss Big Forehead, yeah, since you're not playing the game, huh? <laughs> I was a danger to other people because Jeez, of my forehead. What? Nice. Your right, time wow. Up. Your time is hey. up. Oh, you did so well. Seven. They clearly won. Seven. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Like, there's no even point of us saying anything because, wow, you guys did so well. Mm -hmm. I Thank am, you. Since I'm married myself, <laughs> the two <laughs> Evidence of a couple is those who can do a game together and win. True. Congratulations, <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So well. You guys have so much love over here on yeah. social media. Guys are going crazy over here. We have um, over here talks. Uh, someone saying it's Hey Zaddy because your Instagram is I Zaddy. can't. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> Your hey Zaddy. Zaddy and uh, Keranta, you inspire me so much. Is Priska from South B. And we also have someone else saying, Hey, those guys are amazing. They're great even at home. I love them big. Long live. A more family. Long live yeah. a more family. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. How does it feel? I guess you guys have given us like what it's like to have the hating side. But what does it feel like um for you guys to get so much love from maybe people you are never even going to meet? Um, as in Nico, it, it's very satisfying. Mm -hmm. Like to be known, like, to go somewhere and then somebody's like, Are you a more? Are you from? I always watch your videos. I love you so much. Let's take a picture. Yeah. As in your satisfaction. Yeah. You, feel, you feel good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I love it. I'm, no, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm, we gotta sign up. We oh, gotta sign up, guys. Okay. The show was too good. The show was too good. We didn't have enough time for everything. But thank you so much for talking to us, guys. We love you and we appreciate you. And we're gonna see you here tomorrow for Talk That Talk Thursday. My name is Lydia KM, and that's Lydia KM on all social media handles. Kasomi, Kasomi, and today's show has just been so. I, 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 you know what? I have gained a lot of knowledge from mm -hmm. these two people. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that they came but 
Make sure you're joining us tomorrow. The numbers are always here. DM us, talk to us. We're not even bad at Kazi. So, Katobi, Katobi on all social media platforms. And I shall pass them to Mayuma. <laughs> you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this show as much as we did. It has been a hot talk Wednesday, and we have loved all the interaction from you guys. So, continue to talk to us on social media. But for now, it's your girl, Ayuma Kaguli, simply Ayuma on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. <laughs>